growing well. Welcome back to my channel Code Fusion App. It's fantastic to see you back for the second day of our journey to mastering my SQL through our lead code challenges. Yesterday we saw a problem which was done on the like operator using SQL. So in case if you haven't viewed the last video, I'll give the link in the description box. You can just check out that also over here and make sure you're consistent throughout the whole playlist. Remember the best way to learn is by doing it. So I encourage you to try solving your problem by the own, uh, by giving your own solution and don't hesitate to pause the video and take your time. Think throughout the problem and if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. Let's make it an interactive and supportive learning experience. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. We have got a lot of exciting content lined up and I can't wait to continue this learning journey with you. So let's move on to our next question towards our SQL challenge. So our next question number that we would be taking is 595. Okay. So that question over here says about big countries. Okay. It is again an easy level prob problem. And we are going to look upon to how to tackle this over here. Okay. So here we can see the question that is about big countries so first of all we'll go through what the problem is all about okay so what is all given to us and what we have to find the solution for so we have been given a table that is world over here okay into which we have specific columns that is name con continent area population as well as the gdp so the data types for the same are where care for the name and continent Area and population are given an int and GDP is for big int over here. So here the primary key over here is the name. Okay, so name is a primary key, a column which has unique values. Okay, so it doesn't repeat any value and it cannot have any null values over here in this specific column. So each row of this table provides us about the information about what is the name, the country, the continent which it belongs to. Okay, along with its area, population and GDP. So, here we have been said that a country is counted as big if it has an area of at least 3 million. Okay, or, or we have been specified another condition that the population is at least 5 million. Okay, so either of these conditions have to be true to state that a country is big. Okay, so we have to find that what is a big country. So the definition over here has been provided as it should have an area that is at least 3 million. Okay, or else the population of at least 25 million. So any of the condition can be true would be stated as a big country. So what we have to do, we have to find the solution into which we want the name the population and the area of the big countries. We don't want the GDP and uh, continent name over here in our solution, in our result over here. So we only want the name, the population and the area of the big countries. And we can return the result in any order like it's not specified over here. We can return the result in any of the orders over here. So let's have a look at what the input says. Okay, so we have a name. Okay. We have a continent, we have area and the population and GDP. Suppose the name is Afghanistan and its continent is given as Asia over here and the area is specified as something and the population and GDP is also mentioned. So now in this we have to check that this all area, okay, the all area that has been present over here is greater than or at least 3 million, okay, to satisfy the condition that a country is big. If this condition is not satisfied, okay, then we'll go and check that is this population at least 5, 25 million, okay. So either of these conditions, if are true, then it will result us as the name, the population and just the area. We don't want the whole table over here. We just want some specified columns from the input we have. So what are we going to use? We are having a OR condition. Okay. So for this, we are going to use 
the or operator okay so now what is this or operator over here the or operator in sql is used to combine multiple conditions in a where clause okay so if you have multiple conditions that you want to combine okay and you want to return the rows that meet at least one of the specified conditions suppose you have two conditions three conditions okay multiple conditions you have and you want to return only only a value that specifies that at least one of the condition is been met over here so it will return us as true over here so the row that has met any of the condition that has been specified over here would be included in our result set so now what would we do is first of all we don't want entire columns that has been present over here we only want some specified columns over here so first of all we'll write the select query over here now what is the select query actually used for okay if, if you want to know in detail this part of the query specifies the columns that you want to retrieve from the table okay only you want name population and area you don't want all of these columns okay so you are just specifying that specific columns over here into this solution okay so i only want the name okay next what i want is the population over here okay and next what i want is the area okay i want only these three things that i want to retrieve from the table okay so now from which table i need to retrieve okay i have this table named as world over here so i will retrieve these three columns from a table which is named as world over here okay now i don't want to retrieve the whole table okay i don't want to retrieve the whole table data i only want to retrieve some specific conditions that has to be applied over here and the condition is that the area should be at least 3 million and the population should be at least 25 million over here okay so how do you apply that condition over here so the to apply any condition okay we'll filter out it using the where clause okay so what is this where clause doing it will only return us the rows that will met meet these conditions okay so uh, for applying a first condition we'll check that this area okay is greater than or equal to 3 million okay that is the number that has been given over here so we'll just copy and we'll paste over here that area should be equal to or else greater than 3 million okay the minimum amount the minimum area that has to be there is 3 million okay if this condition isn't satisfied okay if this condition isn't satisfied we can move on to another condition also so we'll use the or operator over here and into this or operator we have to check that the population okay that the population is greater than or equal to this 25 million we'll just copy the number over here okay so we don't make any mistake in numbering so what are we going to see is that is this condition meeting or is this condition if any of the condition meets then it will return that row into the result set over here okay so if any one of these is been satisfied it will return us the into the result table okay so we'll just run our query and check what is the output that we are getting over here we have to check that the expected output and the output that we are getting over here from this query is same then only our test cases would be accepted over here okay so it states that the test case has been expected accepted and its runtime was this much okay so what was our case the input that was provided over here okay into which the expected output and the output that we got from this query have been matched over here so it has checked that the area is greater than uh, what greater than 3 million okay so is the area greater than 3 million it has checked that or is the population greater than 25 million it has checked that over here okay so here in afghanistan the population was greater than 25 
million over here here the population was greater than 25 million although the area didn't satisfy over here but still it gave us the output okay so we have successfully run our test cases over here now we'll go and submit our solution so that if any hidden test cases are failing we can just get to know about that okay so our test case has been accepted over here so on submitting as you know that we get multiple hidden evaluation test cases also over here so you need to take care that all the conditions that you apply works in multiple scenarios for multiple test cases okay the run over here would only just test the sample test cases that has been provided over here in the lead code platform over here okay so it will just test over this condition only so actually this was all about how to use an or operator okay where to apply the where clause and where to apply the or condition and how does this condition gets true and gets uh, affected in a result set so we just had a look upon this in case you have any doubt in this problem or any other solution that you want me to provide you can drop that into the comment section below and i'll just have a look at your queries or all what whatever doubts you have and uh, this was all about uh, today's lecture and it was all about or operator and how to apply conditions over here to get the result to be impacted from and i'll see you guys in the next lecture if you have any doubt you can freely comment down and if you like the video then please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and make sure you are thoroughly being consistent throughout the 45 days to follow the whole sql playlist and maximize your problem solving skills by just mastering sql with this all problem sets over here and i'll see you guys in the next lecture till then take care bye bye